So I was talking with my uh, oldest sister the other day and she, she mentioned that one of her daughters didn't quite believe her that the guy on YouTube was her uncle. So Jackie, this is your uncle Donnie. He's a silly one making the aeroplane. I um, totally understand how you didn't quite believe your mummy and daddy over this one. But for once they weren't telling you a fib. So um, I guess they tricked you again, huh? <laughs> panel here started at the bottom and I'm working my way up so just just finding holes or creating holes and getting this shape all right getting this cut out nice there's a little bit more work to be done up in this area and at the front and eventually that bit will wrap around like like that one all through there so it'll have to follow that shape working on the engine cowling same panel that I've been playing around with still tweaking it and I started to do the intake for the carburetor so we're just starting to stretch form the shape into it this one needs a little bit more more work um, that edge is pretty well down but we still got to work this edge and that edge needs just finishing off at the back there um, it's not a straight, you can see there's a curve on that one and a definite curve on that one. And of course there's curves everywhere on those as well. Uh, and I've still got this one to go yet. So that'll end up wrapped around like that one. So around like that and it'll continue on into a bit of a V there and back out again. Um, this panel's been Quite funky to make, actually. Um, it actually looks simple, but Muggins here, the way he's designed it and made it up, there's actually quite a lot of shape and different shapes. So at the top there, it's supposed to just go flat there, but then it curves this way ever so slightly. It's also curving this way, but down here it's quite sharp. I don't know if you can show that. And it's quite sharp that way compared to here. So um, that's a gradual shape and I've actually marked it. I need to work this just a little bit more, bring that out a little bit more. Not much. Um, and then, uh, yeah, it's, oh, I don't know. Maybe we can look down this way. So we'll get a bit of a, bit better of a bow there. And um, more that way. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, a little bit more work to be done. But we're getting there. I'll have to take this off, the skin off again, the buck, and um, just trim some edges here. So I'm cheating um, this edge here. I'm gonna, now that I know exactly where the, the radius is, um, I'm gonna cut a bit more of this off and clean it all up and polish it and all of that. So then it just reduces the chances of splitting in that area because we're, we're working working that metal pretty hard um, so this edge will roll around and lead to nowhere but i want this flange that flange and that one to be riveted onto my air box which will go to the carburetor and that'll also stiffen up that whole section there so once the skins are made i've got to get inside and make all of the gusseting and brackets and ducting and all of that and we'll get back to this embossing idea also but yeah there's still once the skins are made that's that's only we're not even halfway i don't reckon all of the stuff inside 
is important as well. Hmm, great fun. We shall continue. start forming the front leading edge section now pretty happy with a lot of work in here and it's just this section here because there's a there will be a curve this way and then it'll roll wrap over but I didn't want this bit here so from that skin into there to go as a straight angle I wanted it to fare in uh, the leading edge you can see there's quite a fair bit of shape just in that bit so just in this section and then it tapers out again so a lot of work went into that same with that bit so I wanted that whole section just to curve in rather than be a straight line I think we got that now we're ready to wrap the leading edge First day of holiday, so I finished work early today. Um, and we finished Frankenstein's cowling. Well, the skins anyway. And I just had to stick it on the front just to see what it looks like. And um, I think that's going to be a bit cool. What do you reckon? I couldn't finish this top skin off as well as I wanted to. There's quite a few ripples on the inside at the front there and all of that. I can try and dress them out a bit better, but the buck just failed. She, um, it just, it just couldn't take the pounding. So she split and let go. That whole piece is about to go. So, um, it failed a little earlier than what I was hoping. But anyway, so I just taped her on to have a look. It's gonna be cool. I just, I did try it out in the cockpit. Um, because this comes out a little bit, it's obviously a bit more of a challenge to look past, but it doesn't actually get too much further out from the vertical posts here. So, and, and because it's gonna sit quite high, taxiing around is gonna be not too difficult, I hope. But um, that's a big step forward, that. Yeah. <sighs> Feeling a bit awesome at the moment, actually. 